Right, welcome back to the channel. We have a brand new format that we're gonna do for course vlogs for matches like this. So I'm playing with Tyler Hogarty. You can find him on these socials. Uh, has a YouTube channel himself, TikTok, really good golfer. Got some starts on the challenge tour, played some challenge tour. Um, he's been doing well recently on the clutch tour. Um, and I actually played with him Jamiga tour last round at the Vale. So we're at Cent Million right now. This is, if you don't know Cent Million, this is one of the hardest golf courses in England, designed by Jack Nicholas, hosted European Tour event. They actually took the European Tour event, event away from here. A leading score through 72 holes was over par at one stage, and Seve's yep. won here, so it's got quite a lot of history. But we're going to play 18 holes. There's going to be front nine and back nine. And um, as normal, we're just going to go out and play. We've got Ollie filming and we've got Ollie setting up the shot tracers so we can just concentrate on our games and do as real a uh, match situation as possible. So we're not having to like talk to the cameras then get back into the shot. This is this is all like proper. Um, and I've got the yardages as well. So first hole, after both hitting, well I hit four and off the tee, pretty sure Tyler hit a two iron. Um, I've got 156 yards playing down about eight hills. This is uh, playing down about eight yards. This is a pitching wedge, fairly stock shot. Just trying to put it in that middle bit of the green. Tyler's then got 138 yards, probably playing closer to sort of like 130, maybe 128. And this is his, I think I remember him correctly saying this is his 10 o'clock wedge, but he just sort of pulled the tits off it. As he said, that's his words, by the way. <laughs> um, but anyway, he does a lot of videos online, tutorials, short game tutorials, so it's probably worth checking them out. He does have a, a nice short game. That's a view of the first. That is, that's what we're playing with. So around St. Million at the moment, they've got the rough up. The fairways have always been very tight. It's long. The greens are small and very slopey. And Tyler was saying that this golf course, when Jack Nicks designed it, was not actually designed with cart paths along the side next to the hazards and long rough um, so it's now just well it's pretty it's, it's pretty brutal anyway second hole is a par five and it's a three shot par five because otherwise you got you got either sling a driver into like a 30 yard gap with hazard all down the left and out of bounds right or you hit a five iron in the hazard left off the tee like i did first rule of a three shot par five don't hit it into hazard with five iron. I think um, Tyler's hitting down, getting it down there for four iron. So second shot after taking the drop, other side of the path. This was, I believe, a five iron, just trying to sort of just chase one down the hill, nice and low, keep it in play. Give myself a chance instead of making par. And then Tyler, I think, did the same. This is gonna be either a six iron or a five iron. And this is the shot. He's probably got about 330 from here. So you could get it close, but you know, just just you, you can hit a six iron like 220 down there with run and leave yourself a good chance of wedge. So I've got 108 yards into this. It's a 56 degree. This actually came up pretty sweet. Had a look. So I said just the tap and par, and then Tyler's got a 87 degree. Shot here playing slightly downhill, and this is actually a 62 degree wedge. So this is almost, I think this is getting near, I think I think he said 68 to 70 is getting near like a full 62 degree. Um, so yeah, I'm making, I'm making my par, Tyler's making his birdie. It's a little view up the hole. I had um, Michael J. Fox filming that one. Onto the third, so we got Hazard on the right and we got a big bank on the left. So the shot that we're both trying to play really is just start one at the bank and just try and slide one off of it. It gives you like the biggest margin of error because if you do pull it, that's the kick you get. If you cut it or overcut it, you're going to be very hard pressed to actually be able to cut that in the Hazard from there. Um, so I'm hitting the exact same shot. Getting a huge kick okay, off the little dry bit of the slope. And no stress at all. So I've got one, four, three. Um, just trying to hit a little cutty nine on into there. Just slightly inside it. 
Started at the flag with a bit of a cut, um, but not a bad shot. Tyler's got 130 out of a bit of a flyery lie, so he's hitting a 50 degree. And this looks good, to be fair, from here. Yeah, it just comes up slightly short. Where was 12? Yeah, I think Ollie filmed that one, which is good. <sighs> bit of a misread from Tyler. And I've got a big old swinger from the right. So I think I aimed this like a foot outside the right edge. It just went early. I knew it was going to straighten, but it just took like a lot of the slope early doors. Anyway, two pars. So this was playing 179 all the way to the back. But Tyler said, play this as like a 172 shot, like five paces left of the flag. That's where you're aiming. It's very tight all the way back there. Tyler's come out of his, hit it in the bunker with a 7-iron. I've got an 8-iron that I'm just trying to start on the left side of the green. And just, yeah, it's just one of those that's like got a bit stuck. Flipped up in the air, added a bit of loft. And now I'm looking at all of about 40 paces up the green. But anyway, Tyler's got absolutely screwed here, like plugged against the lie, plugged against the lip. So that's all he could do, is just get in the other bit of the bunker. Which he actually did a good job of from there, considering you've got hazard on the right of you. And then, yeah, it's a decent bunker shot, to be fair. Chance for bogey. So this is long, uphill. The greens weren't quite as quick as you'd usually see at St. Mellon. When you play at St. Mellon, generally, the greens are running at, like, at least 10. I think last time we played, they were, like, 10 and a half. Today, they're probably closer to 9. And that was a funky one. Like, if you, if you watch that back, that did some weird stuff. I didn't see any pitch marks, but... We're definitely going to blame it on the ground. So Tyler's got a chance to say bogey, which we missed. So we're basically both made a mug of ourselves on that hole. Right, moving on to, this is one of the best holes on the course. So you've got, I think it's about 220 yard carry over water to a fair width and then dog legs left and you've got a tiny green up there. So I'm just hitting the the low burner draw three iron which come out this come out absolutely perfect you can still see this in the air that worked out very well and Tyler's hitting his two iron let me know in the comments below what you think of this commentary playing real golf because this gives me a chance to play properly against people like this you'll still get seeing the golf but we can actually concentrate with this person about here. Just as I say, real golf, and then we start hitting balls over. Like. That was actually quite good. Anyway, Maybe. so moving on, we have, I've got 87 yards, so this is just sort of verging on getting towards as hard as I want us to hit a 60 degree wedge. Distance control not great. Tyler's got 66 wedge, 66 yards, and this is a 62. Lovely shot, had a chance. That literally ran around the lip. Got myself a putt for birdie. Another big swing. You can see like these greens contour quite a bit. This was back to front and moving away. But a safe par, Tyler tapping it in for birdie, nice and simple. This is straight up the hill at about 440. Hazard all the way up the right, bund on the left. But you've got a bank on the left. So we're aiming at this bank. And Tyler says there's a speed slot like right there. So for me, when I get on a hole like this, when there's trouble everywhere, I tend to just try and flight one down a bit just to like keep it in place. So I'm just trying to flight this down towards that bank on the left giving myself the most margin for error and this come out really nice just hit the top of the bank didn't quite get that power slot but you can't complain with that 
So 155 playing, in fact he's got 160, which is at least 10 up from here, so this is playing 170. He's got an 8 iron and this has just flown. I think it, yeah, pretty sure I hit the path. If not, it's hit like a surrounding area that's like really bouncy. I've got 155 playing 165 from the fairway and just hit a fairly stocky nine. I wasn't trying to do too much with this. Pulled it a tad. And again, this has gone absolutely miles. And what you're gonna see from here is that neither of these shots are the miss. I mean, it's quite obvious when you look at where he is right now, but the green's like back to front, you've got rough. And this shot is, is a bit of a joke to be fair. Just building the suspense. Look at that. That's worth a like on the video. If you haven't liked it, scroll down or scroll up, which you're probably like reading through the comments. So give it a like for that, for Tyler. Cheers, Tyler. So I've got, um, mine's sort of like sitting up on this rough bit. Obviously stand on the path, but deciding to play it because I've actually got a fairly decent light. I thought I hit that absolutely perfect, but it just got snagged in the last bit of rough. But we both got parts for par. I read this. I think this was like, yeah, six inches outside the right edge, maybe a foot, and this just strained at the end. But again, that's a good part, perfect pace, decent roll. And it's a tap and bogey. And Tyler again, sort of just missing out on like two very good up and downs there. And that is, that is a tough hole, tough hole. There you go. Is it Michael or Ollie? Yeah, Michael. Michael's back. Um, long par five. This hole was playing downwind. It's not even long. It's just over 500 yards. Great shot. Tyler said this is 27 yards wide <laughs> in the middle. And the problem is because you've got a path on the left. If you hit it anywhere up the left, it just hits the path and goes in the hazard. So I'm hitting a, trying to hit like a low driver down there. Hit probably the worst golf shot I've hit all year. Just a low block right. Just a really bad swing. Smashes a tree. Jumps back out into this. So all I've got really from here is just a hack trying to get this back in play. I thought I did a good job of this, but as you can see what it's doing now, I was expecting that centre of the fair we've got up there. So I'm blocked out completely now uh, at 220. So I'm just trying to sling a nine iron around the corner. Didn't pay as much attention as I should to where the face is at impact. So the ball obviously starts closer to the face, catches the edge of the tree, spits it out right. Tyler then has second shot from 134 probably playing about 140 uphill. It's a great shot in there, so he's got to look for eagle. Meanwhile, I'm pissing about down here, trying to save, it's on my two, three, trying to save par. Hit a good shot in there to be fair, but it's just hit the bank. Um, stop that from releasing up out the rough. But anyway, we've got a par for par. too bad two drop shots in a row and well Tyler for eagle tap and birdie all right we move on to a downhill par three so it's only playing 110 yards to this flag so we're both going with 50 Tyler's like more in with the clockwork system um, so I can't remember exactly how far he said he's taking it back, but I saw this as, so I'm trying to play the ball a bit more, and I saw this as like a low one that's moving slightly left to right, holding up against the wind with a 50, and that sounds really complicated, but I like playing like this, and it actually suits my eye. And yeah, hit decent shot in here, with a lot of spin. Good look for birdie. 
got a little reed still did some aim point I think I had wow. this a couple inches outside the lip probably like a, a cup and wow. hit a decent part so got one back we've got a par 4 about 400 yards from this T dog leg almost like right angles around the corner so it helps if you get one cut in and which Tyler actually did I think no actually didn't he hit a little draw as you can see the fairways are pretty bouncy at the moment that's got up in the rough and I'm hitting three iron just trying to get one moving around the corner a bit and just hit a bit of a block but in play so into the flag we both have 145 yards on the number both out of juicy lies so 50 degrees for both of us playing well I, I played like a 130 shot with a 50 and I think Tyler did the same just expecting the flyer nice shot in there and this is why it's important to hit fairways generally you can't really get it that close out of this rough round here because the greens are quite small or they're very small um, but we both did a good job of getting getting out there giving us some birdie butts and then putting like um I've got to keep this PC, haven't I? Yeah. You can fill the word in, in the comments, put in like a, um, you know what. Right, so I've got a part, little bit of right to left, and this is probably one of the best putts you'll ever see in your life. Did you see that stroke? That was nice. Right, so there's a bit of a block, so that's the front nine, back nine coming soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you on the next one.